Hey, this is Elena with Black Sheep 303 Creative, and my project today is using the Deco Foil Clear Designer Toner Sheets as backgrounds on a couple of thank you cards. So this is a, these are a fairly new release from Deco Foil, and they come in a variety of designs. So this is the branching out one that is groovy, and as you can see, it's like black toner on a clear background. So the foil that you apply to it will stick only to the black parts. And as you can see, the sheet is eight and a half by 11 and it's got an eighth of an inch border all the way around. So you just trim that off and I cut this down to four and a quarter inches by six inches. And hopefully you can see it, I know it's super shiny. Now there is sort of a matte side and a shiny side to this. It's kind of subtle, but you can definitely tell in person. And you wanna place the foil, foil side up onto the more matte side of the sheet so that it will stick to the toner. And the first color was rose gold and then this is amethyst watercolor. That's like one of my favorites because it's like multi-tonal and really pretty. Hopefully you can see that. I realize my lighting is making this all very, very shiny. But I'm gonna run this through my uh, Anna Griffin Mink machine that you see there and I will turn it on and then I'm gonna set it on the three setting. Hopefully you can tell that the light is blinking and that means that it is warming up. And then these plastic uh, folders come with the machine and I have added a piece of cardstock as like a shim in there. It just seems to help um, get the foil to transfer well. I'm not sure why, but I use that. And I'm just adding these in here. You wanna make sure the foil doesn't crease in your folder. You can also use a piece of parchment paper if you don't have the plastic folders. That works well too. Okay, so I'm gonna run this through the mink machine starting off at real time which is very slow uh, now that the the light over the three is solid I know that it's heated up and then I wait like at least another minute um, to just get it fully heated and I've sped this up quite a bit just so you don't get super bored watching this go through but fairly quickly you can remove it and then you just pull the foil off and look at hopefully you can see the gorgeous grows gold on those branches like absolutely beautiful and then the purple i love even more um, on this groovy so you just as soon as it cools off which is pretty fast you just peel it off and the and the foil transfers beautifully on these sheets and then you have this extra piece that i will use later on like a toner sheet um, to get the backwards uh, pattern going. And so I will save those, set those to the side. Now for my greeting, I'm gonna be writing out the word thanks with these two sets. They are from Concord and Ninth. It's called Sophisticated Script. It's the uppercase and lowercase. I absolutely adore these stamp sets and I don't use them enough. The cool thing about them is that it allows you to basically fake brush lettering, like that cool, handwritten brush lettering style that's very popular right now um, just by writing a word out using these <laughs> stamps. So the T kind of is on its own and then the remaining letters, sorry about my head there, you're gonna see that a couple times, um, you just link them together to create that script look and it is really, really cool and very, very easy to do. Believe me, it really is. <laughs> you know, take a second to make sure that the like sort of end line of the letter is connected to the next line of the next letter. Um, and I always try to make sure that the direction sort of lines up between them, between the two letters. So it looks like you've written it with one swoop, but it's really easy to do. Um, you know, I've sped this up quite a bit, but as you can see, I'm not spending a huge amount of time having to line stuff up and look at how cool it comes out. And I did stamp that twice. Now I've got some extra elements here. I, I die cut two feathers from the feathers die set from Elizabeth Craft Designs. And I'm decorating this a bit. I've used my ground espresso distress marker to highlight the stems and the, and the veins. I will change that later, so don't get too attached to that. And then I'm gonna add some ground espresso distress ink just around the edges a little bit um, with my distress blending tool. And later you might notice that there's a little bit of green on there too, which was mowed lawn, but I will wind up going over both of those in the end to add a little bit of wilted violet distress oxide, which is really gonna help. Now these two are from the large flower set, die set from Elizabeth's Craft Designs, and I have taken my dusty Concord and I'm just going over the 
petals on this flower just a little bit to add a little bit of depth and dimension. And then that white piece is going to sit in the middle. So all of this cardstock is from Gina K Designs, except the white. The white is 85 pound white soft finish cardstock from Elizabeth Craft Designs. And all the colors are listed in the supply list, which is in the video description or on my blog as well. Now these two are from the small flower die set from Elizabeth Craft Designs. And I'm going over the ends of the petals on this guy with a little bit of wilted violet distress ink. And then I'm using my Tonic Nouveau Glitter Drops in Purple Rain to put a center on this white one. And then I'm going to use Dandelion Yellow Crystal Drops on the other purple, two purple flowers. And since my cards are always a work in progress, as you probably know if you watch me regularly, I will additionally add two more flowers later um, from the Bunch of Flowers 1 die set. All right, so here's my card base. It's A2 sized side folding. I have die cut out my thanks with a stitched rectangles die from Elizabeth Craft Designs, and I stamped that one in Gina K Designs Dark Chocolate Ink. The top of my card is going to be covered in a piece of uh, apple mint cardstock, and here are my feathers. Now you'll see I have changed the ground espresso to my white glaze pen. Just because that brown in the center was blending way too much with the branches and becoming way too busy. So I went over that with the white instead and it really looked a lot better <laughs> with the white. Now adhering these clear sheets down is a bit of a challenge because they're clear and you don't want the adhesive sheet to show. So, or the adhesive that you're using to show. So what I'm doing is I put three millimeter clear double sided adhesive tape on the very, very ends and I'm gonna fold it around that cardstock and then I put the greeting down in the middle and I put 10 millimeter clear double sided adhesive tape on that. So that's going to adhere it nicely down in the center. Now this was a sort of an experiment on my part and I'll be honest, the folding over, I mean it worked, but it wasn't that great. Um, it's a little bit difficult to get a really crisp fold in that plastic sheet. So it does have a little bit of a bowing effect on it. But, you know, it's not really that bad. Like, it actually looks fine on the card. But would not be my first choice as far as adhering this down. If you have some clear, maybe liquid glue that would dry clear, that might be better. And I will also have a second way of attaching this for the second card. Now you can see I'm just trimming off any excess and I'm going to add the feathers like so. But first I'm going to add some Wilted Violet Distress Oxide, as you may see there hopefully now to the edges and I thought that actually added a really nice highlight to those gray feathers. Now for my second card, I've also got an A2 size side folding card base. Those are both made out of 100 pound soft finish cardstock from Elizabeth Craft Designs. This oval is apple mint, same as the other card. Die cut it with a stitched oval dies from Elizabeth Craft Designs and you can see I fussy cut out the thanks word with a border around it and I'll be adhering that to the middle of the oval with my Zig 2A glue pen. That cardstock that's going on the front of the card is Turquoise C from uh, G&K Designs. And now I'm stapling this piece onto the front. And I did three staples on each end. And that was great. That worked perfectly. Now it does add a little bit of an industrial feel to the card, obviously. But, you know, I thought it was kind of fun and kind of whimsical. So I, I thought it worked for this card. So that's an option too for, for adhering this down. Now I did use my ATG gun, as you see there, to obviously adhere down the cardstock onto the front of the card. And I could have, if I'd thought of it, put tape behind the uh, oval on the front as well, but didn't think of it. And really the staples hold that in place really nicely. And now I'm going to, oh yes, I did get a little bit of glue on the front of my thank. So I'm taking my mono adhesive or mono sand eraser to get that off. And that works like a charm. Like if you've never used one of those, that's like an absolute necessity in any craft room. Okay, so here you can see I added some extra things at the very end. So I have three purple sequins here to this card with some Ranger Multimedia Matte Adhesive. I just need a little extra something. And then on my other card, you can see those two additional flowers that I mentioned earlier that I die cut out of white 85 pound soft finish cardstock um, from the bunch of flowers one die set. And I added um, some pale periwinkle to the center of that one flower. And then I added quite a few drops of that dandelion yellow all around to kind of finish off that card. 
And those are the completed projects. Now, hopefully you can see how shiny and foily those are. It is very, very difficult to photograph these well to see the foil effect without like having light just blast out the photo. So I did the best I could. Um, I realize it's a little tough, but you can see it if you look closely. And there are some better detail pictures on my blog if you're interested. So hopefully I've inspired you a little bit to try out those clear designer toner sheets. They are really cool and there are a bunch of other designs available. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do that as well. And leave me a comment because I love hearing from you guys. As always, supplies are linked in the video description and over on my blog. And I really, really appreciate you sticking around. Thanks so much and have a great day.